The Stoughton Opera House is situated on the second and third floors of the Stoughton City Hall. When the engineers originally went off to get a design for the building, they came back with a one-story City Hall building. And uh, the City Council at the time uh, said to the engineers, no, you've got to go back and do something else, we need something bigger. The original name was the City Auditorium, and the name was changed during the restoration to the Stoughton Opera House. The Opera House was, was something that uh, just happened to be on some materials that were being sent uh, to us to be used in the renovation. And the term opera house just carries uh, a little more uh, dignity, if you will. There's a mood to the opera house. There's an aesthetic to the opera house. There's a history to the opera house that's palatable, that you can feel in the air. The high school used this facility for all of its plays, all of its assemblies, and for its graduation exercises. But it was commonly used for uh, performances, for entertainment, whatever. Eventually, age began to take its toll. And in the late 50s, let's say, it was, uh, it was one of those things where a building inspector would say, this part of the building may not be safe. It just hadn't been taken care of. It's like a little ding in the thing. They let it go, and then you had two dings, and then you had three dings. You have to, can't do that, and expect it to stay. I was in charge of the restoration. The only reason I was in charge is I was the only one dumb enough to volunteer. <laughs> and John was just the right man for the job. It was the right thing to do, it would be done. If it was too difficult for somebody else to do, he would do it. The attention to detail is remarkable. We widened the aisles so that there was room for more than one person at a time to move in and out of the aisles. And we moved the rows of seats farther apart to give people more leg room. So there are some seats that are wider, some seats that are in standard, some wider, so that you have a smooth curve around both sides of the seating area. If there was one complaint that I consistently hear from people is that the seats are hard at the Opera House. And that's because they're made of wood and they were built in 1900. The fire curtain is uh, a really interesting relic. It's the original curtain uh, from the building and uh, it was restored as part of the project. The advertisements on the curtain are uh, amusing to look at things like that that uh, take you back to the early part of the 20th century. Every day we have people who wander into the Opera House, uh, older folks from the community who come in with their kids or their grandkids uh, to look around at the graffiti on the walls of the stage. Um, they find their own names uh, in the cast of their uh, senior play from 1937 or 1923. All of that is left intact on the stage for people to come and see. It's amazing to me that over the course of 18 years, people could have the persistence to continue on with the project and see it through to completion. Well, it's important to me because it's, uh, it really represents the kind of the core of the city. It's got a good feeling to it in so many different ways. Mm -hmm.